Hello, this is Masamaki21, aka Fatboy D, and I'm here with a video response to uh, to uh, AdKit's latest video, the problem with the Let's Play community today. Now, I mean, I could have been like everybody else and just did a little comment, but I feel that this deserves a video in itself. Um, if I rush this, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get out of my house right now, I have to go somewhere. But I wanted to do this before I left. Basically, um, I agree with you 100%, Adkit. Uh, I'm in the same boat as you. I feel that uh, Let's Plays, Let's Players nowadays, nowadays don't they don't have the the unique feel as certain Let's Players do. Especially the more popular ones, they just don't have that unique that unique skill of commentary that videos should have. Like that that one that you showed where the guy was playing DSX, DSEX or X or however you say it, and he was quiet for like a minute, and he only said like three things in that minute, and I feel that that to me is pretty bad for someone who calls themselves a let's player because um, when you're a let's player, you have to communicate in a sense. I know uh, sometimes it can be hard since you're pretty much by yourself and you're not talking to anybody you're pretty much talking to yourself but there's a certain way you have to to be able to take your commentary and talk to yourself as if there were people there with you and i feel a lot of uh let's players just don't have that ability they they do talk but it's pretty much dry and dragged out as if they don't want to do it i've i've watched a lot of let's players who've done Let's Plays of new games. I know you said you shouldn't do that. Let's Play should not play, should not cast new games when everybody else is doing it because then it just, it defeats the purpose of doing the Let's Play because nobody's not going to watch yours because people are going to go watch the more popular ones. And I've, of course, done a sin. I did not follow that rule because I, I followed that rule until I did a Let's Play of Dead Island. I didn't finish it, but I started it. And uh, I took the time to watch this first, uh, the, the first Let's Play Dead Island video that comes up. I took the time to watch it. I didn't do it today, but I did it like a couple of weeks ago, and I thought this person was boring. So I kind of exited out real quick and just went back to my daily ritual of uh, other stuff. So I feel uh, that um, these more popular channels, they're just overhyped, just like, just like new games that come out. A lot of new games that come out are just overhyped, and the only reason why they sell so much and people play them so much is because they're overhyped and people don't see the bullshit that's coming out of the game. Sorry, I didn't mean to curse. I'm trying to cut back on cursing. Uh, anyway, I, I've I've played pretty much every game there is to play, even games I never wanted to play. Well, no, I take that back. I haven't played every game there is to get, but I've played every game, every genre of game, and. I, I found that a lot of games are similar to other games, but obviously you can't make a truly unique game without copying off of something. Something's going to get copied, but in the end, uh, to to truly be unique, you got to bring something that nobody else is bringing. You have to have a certain level of uh, certain level of comedy with your your commentary. You have to be doing saying something funny, something that'll get the of years to laugh, something that will get them interested in watching, how you showed, uh, you showed that one, uh, Let's Player who was, uh, a wife, and you said how her and her husband watched you, and she decided to do Let's Plays too, and she chose to do Minecraft, and, uh, you compared her to, uh, no, you didn't compare, you did, like, a contrast of her and that other female Let's Player who pretty much plays everything new that comes out and uh her commentary is pretty much lame you said and uh uh compared to the the wife let's player uh hers was spontaneous and more real worlded in a sense i uh, i feel the same way when i play games even when i play games i've played 10 to 20 times i always get a I always get, like, <laughs> you'll always see me be shocked or surprised over something. There, there's always something in the game that'll surprise me or make me jump. Um, no matter what. So, uh, my every time I play a game, like, 
every time I play it over, it's always unique. There's nothing, nothing's ever the same for me when I play it again, except for the the things I face and you know fight and stuff that you, know, you attack in the game, and whatnot. But other than that, it's pretty much a whole different experience. I might do something a little different when I get somewhere. I might try something different to see if I can do that a little better, or whatever. But I always have a, a a spontaneous way of doing things, just like how you, how uh, the the wife let's player did when uh, she got attacked by those monster things. Obviously, I, I I don't consider let's playing Minecraft a good thing. I don't like Minecraft. I've never liked Minecraft. It's one of the games I've always hated. Um, falls in the same boat with Black Ops, Call of Duty games, uh, StarCraft 2. I just don't like those games, mainly because of their, their mainstream popularity. I mean, I'm not saying that I hate the person who plays them. I just can't get interested. It's it's hard to get interested in, to, in someone who's playing a game you don't like. So I obviously don't give certain Let's Players a chance. They might actually be good. It's just they're playing something I don't want to see. So I try to stay, steer clear from those people. But uh, obviously that wife Let's Player, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember her name. I think it was uh, Honey or something. I remember seeing a, a bee, so like a female bee. I think it was Honey. Yeah, I think it was Honey. So, obviously, uh, she's an exception. I'd actually go and watch her. She seems uh, fun to watch. Uh, but, of course, I don't have the time because uh, I'm always preoccupied with something. If I'm not gaming, I'm recording. If I'm not recording, I'm casting. If I'm not casting, I'm doing homework. If I'm not doing homework, I'm watching horror movies. So, <laughs> there's never any time to watch anybody else's Let's Plays or anything. I used to do it all the time. I used to watch a few. I don't remember them. The only person I remember watching a long time ago was Manga Minx. She's the whole reason why I became a Let's Player. I watched her all the time until I started doing Let's Plays. Then I kind of veered off and stopped watching her. And I haven't really seen anything from her since. Mainly because she hasn't really done anything. She's been, I guess she's been busy at home or whatever. But she, she says she's still alive and she's still doing stuff. So hopefully she comes back and I'll get to watch her. I really uh, found her very enjoyable. She has a lot of uh, subscribers, but I feel she deserves them because uh, her her commenta her commentary and uh, gameplay are pretty much awesome. She plays horror games. She plays uh, PC games. She's played in Penumbra. She's played Amnesia, and I found all of those pretty awesome that she did them. And uh, her <laughs> her vocal expression is pretty uh, funny when when she gets scared. So. Like those are the type of things I look for when uh when I'm looking for uh, someone to watch myself. But lately I haven't had time to do that, and I feel kind of upset with myself that I haven't taken the time out to to look for someone to watch because I haven't watched any Let's Plays since I see since I saw yours ad kit. I haven't watched anyone else's Let's Plays, so uh, I'm sorry, Let's Players who are actually worth my time. I I don't mean to avoid you. I'm just really busy. Uh. But I feel that uh, me and you are on the same wavelength, Ad Kit, and I want to help other Let's Players in any way I can. Of course, help the ones who deserve being helped. You know, the ones with really good commentary, who don't have the quality to back it up. And that's that's one one another thing. When it comes to there's a there's a commentary quality ratio that I go by, and I'm pretty sure every Let's Player should go by this. If you have decent commentary, like if, if your commentary is great and you're funny and you're spontaneous and people are enjoying what they're hearing and your quality is pretty much webcam <laughs> quality, I consider you worth watching. Mainly because you have the commentary that, that has me interested, that, that makes you worth watching. But if it's the other way around... Let's say you have uh, HD PVR and you have HD quality and your quality is beautiful and whatever you're playing, but your commentary is either horrible or non-existent or doesn't exist at all, <laughs> then why am I watching you? You're, you're just not worth anybody's time. You, you don't deserve to be a Let's Player. And those are the type of people that have a lot of views. I, I don't understand it. Like they'll Their commentary will be horrible and they'll have a lot of views, but 
they have like the greatest comment, the the greatest quality you can come by on YouTube. But their commentary is horrible. So I'm sitting there like, why am I watching this? This is not a let's play. This is just a walkthrough. Change your your video's title to walkthrough. Whatever walkthrough. Throw your name in the title, like a lot of people do. Uh, but uh, as I was saying, I want to help other uh, let's players any way I can. I when I when I come into some money, I want to give away capture cards to those who deserve it. I also want to uh, help people with any uh, issues they're having with capture cards. If they already ha if they already have a capture card and they're having problems, if they're having audio problems, or whatever. Sorry, I had to. Um, I I want to try to help them as much as I can. So if if there's anybody who needs help and uh, is willing to swallow their pride to get help from somebody who's a nobody, who is me, uh, let me know. Send me a message on YouTube. I will reply. I'm always replying to my my comments and everything. So I'm a very active uh, YouTuber. Um, before my computer died, I used to upload videos like every day. You would not go a day without seeing like three to five videos uploaded. One day I uploaded like 20 videos in one sitting, which is crazy. <clears throat> but uh, just just let me know if you if if anybody needs any help. This this goes out to everybody. Everybody who's a let's player who, who's struggling. If you're having issues with a capture card you have, if uh, you're you're not really sure about the settings you're using with a certain capture card like the PVR. Because when I first used the PVR, I wasn't sure how to set anything. But after a while, I kind of figured it out. Um, also, if you need help with uh, certain uh, programs, uh, because I've, I've used pretty much... I, I've used a lot of uh, recording and uh, rendering programs. I've used Debut as a recording program. I've used uh, Windows Movie Maker as a rendering program. I've used... Uh, Sony Vegas as a rendering program. I've used Camtasia as a, a rendering program. <clears throat> so, if there's anybody, I mean, any Let's Player who, who needs help, just let me know. And I'm pretty sure any other Let's Player, including uh, AdKit, is willing to help. Because, it, as I always say, we, we, can't, we can't get anywhere as a community if we don't help each other. And I feel that... Uh, I, I need to help others. I don't know why. I, In my head, I feel that uh, cooperation is necessary, which is why I play a lot of Left 4 Dead 2. I feel uh, cooperation is necessary to get anywhere. So, I mean, it is possible to thrive on your own and become successful, but it's always good to have someone there to help you. So, once again, if you guys uh, need any help with any programs... And need any help with any capture cards? Also, if I if I if you feel that <laughs> you're deserving of a of a capture card, because I I just said I want to give away capture cards, not not like <laughs> just throw them out to anybody who comes up to me. But I'm obviously gonna watch your channel, see how your videos are, how your commentary is, and if it's decent, then I'll I'll see if I can get get a capture card for you. Um, I I feel in that way. We can all get better, in a sense. I really want to give out a PVR. That's, that's like $200. So, <laughs> And I'm pretty sure someone would love to get a PVR, since uh, PVRs are pretty much badass when it comes to doing YouTube videos. Unless you got a, a Black Intensity Pro, then that's even badasser. But that, that involves uh, installing it into your computer, and if you don't know how to do that, then you're pretty much uh, <laughs> asked out with the Black Intensity Pro. But uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm with you. I'm here for you, and I'm willing to help you. And Adkit, uh, I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, thanks for the amazing video. I appreciate your YouTube videos. I still haven't commentated any of my videos yet, but I will take the time to do so. I actually sent uh, some some consent letters to. I was asking consent from a couple of uh, game developers, publishers, seeing if they'll give me consent to do it. I haven't gotten anything back, but I might spam them again tomorrow or another day. But uh, anyway, uh, this has been Masamaki21, aka Fatboy D. Thanks again, AdKit.